electrolysis of dilute aqueous sodium chloride. So again, we will assign the terminals negative, positive, negative, positive electrodes. And then we will quickly jot down the ions that are involved in the electrolyte. We have sodium chloride. So we have sodium plus and chloride ions. And then remembering that this aqueous solution is aqueous condition. So we will have hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions from water. So H plus OH minus. Once we set this up, we will have to decide which are the ones that are discharged in preference. So we deal with the cathode first. At the cathode, we have sodium plus and hydrogen plus waiting to be discharged. Sodium comes from a very reactive metal. So the ion it forms is very stable. It is very unlikely that it will want to accept electrons and go back to being sodium. Right. So in comparison, hydrogen ions will be accepting the electrons to form hydrogen gas. And balance out. Accepting electrons. 2 plus, you will need to gain 2 electrons. So hydrogen ions are being reduced. At the anode, we have chlorides competing with hydroxides waiting to be discharged. Okay. I'll refer back to a table that I shown in an earlier video. When we talk about halides, it's important to note the conditions, whether it's dilute or concentrated. Under dilute conditions, your hydroxides will be the one that will be discharged. So we have dilute here. Hydroxides will be discharged in preference. Hydroxides will become oxygen gas, will be oxidized to oxygen gas. And as mentioned in an earlier video, it might be useful for you to memorize the half equation. We have water. Okay, so this balances out the atoms, but we need to balance the charge also. We have 4 minus on the left side. We will need to put the electrons on the other end to make it balance. And it makes sense because it's supposed to be oxidized, it's supposed to lose electrons. So this is what we have for the anode half equation. So what can we visualize or what can we observe if we look at the setup? Let's talk about the cathode. We know that hydrogen gas will be formed. So observations, we can say that you know we, we get effervescence and the gas when tested extinguishes a lighted spleen with a pop sound. At the anode, the product that we can see is the gas of oxygen. So again, we will see effervescence. And this time, the gas when tested will relight the growing splint. Okay. At this point in time, it will be important for us to realize the ratio of hydrogen gas to oxygen gas form. It is not just one is to one. We have to remember that if we were to compare the ratio, we need to make sure that the electrons are the same number. So we have to multiply the cathode by two or the half equation of cathode by two to have a fair comparison. So we have four, four and two. Okay, so our electrons are the same and then we can compare. We can see that for every two moles of hydrogen gas, we will get one mole of oxygen. That is the ratio that we'll get when we electrolyze dilute sodium chloride. What can we say about the pH of the electrolyte? Well, when we are removing 4H+, 
we will remove 4 OH- minus at the same time. In other words, the pH remains the same.